everyone welcome back to another video by me potato roboto today i am going to do a review for this um thanos avengers endgame from uh, bandai hh figure arts so by the looks of this box it is quite a huge box already but let's see for a comparison i have this uh, recently i just did my review for the ronin so you see see the difference already it's really huge and i am really excited to open this but before we do that let's go through for the box so basically um this is the packaging for the avengers endgame you can see a small window over there to see the figure and see some of the components or, or the accessories that comes with it you can already see that it comes with at least two interchangeable hat but i think that's only uh the uh two of it with the extra one that's already attached on it and i know that he also got his uh weapon the sword but it's not uh, being seen over here but i don't know what's what's the rest that uh comes with it i'm kind of forget i saw it in the promotional image but i kind of forgot but let's check it out together later okay so this is the side it's basically just a uh, word of thanos and this is back side so there is are uh well at least there are several posts that you can do with him and you see this sword and this side is also a standard with the avengers logo and thanos name so i will just uh, open this and as i said this is a huge packaging and it's quite heavy to be honest I am uh, really really excited just open this and there we go so there are also a plastic uh, cover in front of it to prevent the toys from falling apart but see we got Thanos we've got two interchangeable hats oh we got I think yeah that's only a uh, oh so basically oh this is cool so we've got two pair of hands but on the right arm it's only your uh, the standard Thanos arms but for the left part it is with the infinity gauntlet with different pose so it's really really nice and let's just open this oh there's another seal I see so we need to open this right away there we go there I think this one, this one doesn't have any seal. Yep, actually it's everything. Okay, off we go. Oh, everything falling apart. Let's take out the figure first. And I'll show you all of the accessories after this. Let's take a look at this figure. So this is Thanos. It comes with uh, this is a lot of plastics. I just uh, need to remove it first. Yep, and the last one. I think that's about it. Oh, okay. Let's check him out. So this is Thanos comes with a very menacing expression looks very very like uh, straight from the CGI that you saw in the movie looks very nice and the details and the accuracy of every sculpt is also amazing look at that I'll show you over this side there's a small defect that I've got over there I'm not sure if that's a defect or a battle damage i'm not really sure i'll just i'll just assume that's a battle damage so it's fine this is at the back side you see every scalp and every details of it looks really amazing and i think we can take off the helmet oh so let's see if we can take it off yep we can take it off and we can switch it but i'll do that later and if we continue to go down 
So this is the armor. The armor is kind of not or a tribute to the uh, to the uh, original armor that Thanos wear in the comic book version. And if you see that um, this is a uh, gold plating armor with gold kind of paint finish. So it's really nice. So you're there. And this is for the arm and gauntlets and everything that comes with it. There. And for the... This is also for the uh, skirt or the lower part. This is uh, made of a rubber. So it's quite flexible. And for the leg part, this is it. As I said, all of the details and the sculpture. It's no doubt that it is one of the best. And that's for, for the figure. Now I'm I'm going to show you some of the articulations. Let's try to play around. So start with the head. We can... Oh, oh, oh. Everything is falling apart again. I'm back. Sorry for the small disruptions. But let's start with the head. So... You cannot really move the head all the way to the back, of course, why would you do that? But it's quite okay, you cannot really uh, put it uh, to look really up there. So this is the maximum that I've tried to put it there. This is the maximum that, uh, so this is the standing mode, so he cannot really uh, look way up above, but he can quite... Uh, looking down and being so sad about everything that he's failed to achieve. Now you can quite move it to the left and right and, and you see in the neck part there's also a joints over there, a hinge. So you can quite move it a little bit. And why this is always uh, falling off because it's the way you change the hat. So that's why it's easily uh, uh, fall off. With some uh, pressure, I mean. Now about the body, you see that this is more or less um, well. This is basically what you see. Uh, there are quite uh, two different hinge that you can uh, try to move. You cannot really move it to the back, but it's quite uh, flexible. You can move it right up until uh, this side. See, there and also the other way around so it's quite flexible and it's quite nice with joints over there there back again now for the arms there are just like uh, the other figure arts there are three points of articulation this is uh, the first one of course this hinge over there and the second one is between uh, the elbow Third one is of course the arm, same goes with this one. And I haven't shown you a thing uh, with the infinity gauntlet. By the way, that's that's the infinity gauntlet, looks so cool. Every stone is put in place, so you just uh, one snap away from wiping everything, including this video. Now, let's continue with the articulation, so you can basically move everything with this, you can twist it. It's quite um, nice, you can twist it all the way back, Oh, but if you do this then it doesn't look nice if you take a shot from over here because you see that uh, there are some, uh, well basically you can see the inside mold of it. So it's not quite really nice, you, you need to play with your angle or you need to play around with it. On this side is also, but by the way he can really uh, put his arm way this back, so this is uh, the most furthest back that he can achieve it's quite nice it's quite okay he can put it whoa way down below that's not really cool it's like he's almost uh, losing his arm there you need to just put it back up but i think that's meant for the flexibility so as i said just play with the angles and i think you will uh, able to pull off some cool pose with that for the legs there are also three different articulations, one over there, of course, 
and one is uh, on the knee over there and the other one is here oh actually four forgot the other one is uh, this this is for the shoes you can also uh, twist it see you can twist it like that there so it's quite nice as a sport to stand and for the like you can also uh, quite uh, move it around there like that he can uh, open his uh, pipe and not all the way 90 degrees to the back but he can at least uh, do this like a walking pose so it's quite fine and he's not able to do uh, to pull a, oh actually he's able to pull a sitting pose so like that enjoying the time after wiping out the entire un half of the universe well so, that's for the articulations let's move to the accessory so this is the accessory that comes with the Thanos himself it's not really much but it's quite something let's start first with uh, two of the hats so here we go we've got the one is the very angry Thanos and the other one is the smock version of Thanos with a smile on my face, kind of a face. Oh, and the details actually for the face is actually quite really nice for all of them. And this one also. The way you change the hat is uh, actually like I said, we just need to remove this. The outer part the, the front part of the armor and we remove switch this one and let's put this one so there's a block over there there I think it's a, a touch now the armor is also there's a block which is uh, easily being put back see now we've got the angry version next we've got two pair of hands so this is the first one first pair the right arm is always intended to hold the weapon. I'll just show you right away. This is by the way the weapon, the sword that Thanos have. It's actually just a standard plastic. Well, it's not really heavy at all. It doesn't, uh, but it looks shiny enough. Looks quite nice. Okay. Now, by the way, we can just uh, put it here. Oh, it's a little bit difficult behind the camera than I thought but let's see let's see how can I bring this into happen yep it is indeed quite challenging to put this or maybe I should start with the, with the sword or not Okay, there we go. It's almost there. Just a little push and there. It's you need to put some effort on putting that, but once it gets in, then you will be for sure that uh, it holds really nice the mold, it fits really nice into the palm. See, like that. And it's just easily to switch the hand. Like the standard figure arts figure so you just need to put that joints back into his uh, joints over there so i'll just put do this why let's see if it's possible hmm it's also quite quite difficult to put it in there you go we've got it finally fits really nice and by the way, let's also change the gauntlet. So this is a default that, that they put in the beginning. Removing the gauntlet should be also be easy enough. So just remove that. I'll just use uh, this one. I kind of wish that uh, they have the other one that's uh, with the post that about to do the snapping, but apparently not. It's fine. There, so it's easy to put that. I'll continue with the rest of the pair of the hands. This is uh, the one with the open arm version, so it's like trying to choke someone. 
and this one is also with the open arm version and every detail of uh, this arm is also really nice i really like the stone especially looks really good with a translucent color so you see the yellow is really uh, glowing quite nice if you put it under light that's for the accessory speaking about the height of the figure as i said this is quite a huge figure it's not like the rest of the avengers uh, action figure from hhh -H -H figure arts and let's see about how huge this guy is so you see that's around 19 centimeters or i think it's almost like around uh, 8 inch so it's quite huge because the normal action figure usually uh, hides at around 6 inch but I have also this uh, with my Ronin over here, so as a comparison, you can see this is also the HHF Figurage of Ronin. So this is what I said, this is a standard Avengers uh, height for the Avengers character. You can see how different it is and how menacing this uh, Thanos is. And another comparison I have is, I can try to uh, put it over here first. Just stand over there. Now I have also this uh, Thanos from the Marvel Legends. I will also put it this way. The height is almost similar, but still it is still um, uh, Thanos. Uh, the figure arts version is uh, taller. And just another comparison from Marvel Legends. I have this is uh, so I'll just put this aside now. Here. Put it here. Put it here. Just another comparison for same Marvel Legends. This is uh, the Spider-Man from Marvel Legends. So we can, you can already see all of this uh, difference. To say that this is the tallest, and I think it looks really nice, and it fits really well. To give an impression with how huge and how uh, strong he is compared with the rest of the Avengers. So that's about the Thanos figure. What do you guys think about this figure? Sounds of in the comments. Are you going to also get this? Because I am already liking it. And subscribe to my channel for future of uh, Avengers Endgame and another figure arts review. And if you find this video is interesting, hit likes. And but last but not least, I am really, really grateful that uh, you guys watching this video till the end. Okay, so that's it for me. Potato Roboto signing off. Bye bye.